We are ready, my king. Tell me, Venekis. Have you ever gone fishing with your son? No, never. A soldier's life is all I've had the honor to know. <laughs> I would have liked to have gone fishing with my son. Spartans! Every breath that you have taken has led you to this moment. Every drop of blood, sweat, and tear, all of it has led to where you stand right now. The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods with their blood! What say you, Spartans? For our sons! For our daughters! For Sparta!
is your head! Xerxes sends his sheep to slaughter! Come, Persian! I will bring Xerxes your head, you insolent Spartan fool! Come and get it! We are betrayed, my king. Xerxes knows of the path behind the mountain. They are coming. <laughs> By dawn, you will be completely surrounded. We are Spartans. When are we not? Spartans. That word will mean nothing. When Xerxes wipes your bloodline from the face of you. Today was a day the Persians will never forget. Tomorrow is a day the world will remember. Finally. Wow, this is big, Layla. Did you really think it's the spear? This is the one. The book was almost right on top of it. I've never been so lucky in my life. Okay, let's start her up. Are you sure we can trust this thing? I mean, the book could be... Just start it, Victoria. You're the boss, boss. I'll prep it for you. Okay, so worth noting, I've made some changes since we're last in here. <laughs> There's no keeping up with the tech industry these days. I can crank up the simulation to maximum sensory synchronization if you're up for it. Let's take this one step at a time. Understood. If you're looking for something a little more intense, I can always adjust the settings for you later. This bit will let me know how much information will be fed to you during your time in the Animus. Give me as much information as you got. There's no way I'm going in there without some guidance. Glad to help. You can always change your mind later. Listen, Layla, before you go off... If this book is right, this fear, this story, it will change everything. You're putting a lot of faith in a fairly unreliable source. Historian or not, this guy wrote about magical objects and the will of the gods. He's not Homer. Irodotos was the first recorded historian, so there's a lot more truth in that text than you think. I mean, what better way is there of finding Isu artifacts than by trusting in the guy who claimed to meet an actual descendant? I know, but... I need you to trust me. You could be right. This spear, this book, it could all be crap. But something tells me it isn't, and I'm certainly not gonna let Abstergo find out first. You're right. We haven't got much to lose anyway. There's just one small problem. What is it? This manuscript is in rough condition, to say the least. The DNA found on the spear has identified two different individuals. 
You're gonna have to pick which strand of DNA to pursue. The choice is yours. She'll help us find what we're looking for. I have a good feeling about this. All right, boss. We're finally good to go. 431 BCE, here we come! The start of Peloponnesian War. Good luck in there. No pressure or anything, but we're all depending on you. Abstergo isn't gonna win this time. If what the book says is true and we do actually find the artifact, the assassins will finally have a chance to rise again. You can do it! Oh, and Victoria? Read the book. It holds the secrets I won't be able to find on my own when I'm in there. Aye, aye, Captain. Cyclops got a message for you. Tell your boss he can stick it. That's for last week! <coughs> Malaka! The Cyclops said you like to act tough, so act tough! Get a little closer, and I will. You should know by now. The Cyclops always collects his debts. You have a lesson to learn. If the Cyclops wants to teach me, tell him to come here himself. Never mess with the Cyclops! Last week? This shit happens every week. I can't keep doing this. <whistles> nah. Thanks for the warning. Ugh. What happened to you? It's nothing, Phoebe. All taken care of now. The Cyclops again, huh? Hasn't he learned his lesson yet? Apparently not. Of course. Help yourself. You hungry too, Icarus? <laughs> Do you think Zeus would bless me with an ego like he blessed you, Cassandra? Maybe you could ask him for me. I'll try to. 
to put in a good word for you. Finally. So, what are you doing here? Oh, I almost forgot. Marcos is looking for you. What does that weasel want now? Don't know. He wants you to meet him at his new house. On his vineyard. What? A vineyard? Malaka! It's on the road to Sami. He says wine will make him rich. Since when has he had a vineyard? Yesterday, I think. So... Marcos, who owes me drachmi, is buying vineyards. With what money? I don't know. Where can I find Marcus's new beautiful estate? You know the statue of Zeus on Mount Ainos? It's south of that. Well, I guess I owe Marcos a little visit. Thank you, Phoebe. <clears throat> I'll go tell Marcos you're coming. Fun's over. Tell that one-eyed freak if he ever sends you here again, I'm gonna cut out his other eye and feed it to my bed. I'll see Marcos as soon as I'm dressed. I'll have to go up top to get dressed.
convenient. Hmm. Straight ahead. See what you've gotten yourself into this time, Marcos. Boss, I, I keep telling you, you, you can't do that. Why? It's my farm. I can plant what I want. The grapes will die here. All of them. You have to forget what you know about the past, my friend. Together, we will revolutionize winemaking. Believe me, you will look back on this day and... Cassandra, thank the gods. Phoebe found you in time. I can still hear you. I was worried sick. The Cyclops sent his scum to find you. I think they mean you harm. I wish you would have told me that before they hit me. But that's beside the point. You bought a vineyard, Marcos? A vineyard? Why not? I like wine, you like wine, everybody likes wine. Everybody buys wine. Why not from me? Because you don't know how to grow grapes or make wine? I'm a fast learner. You grow grapes on the vine, then you get some wine. <laughs> is that simple, is it? You know me better than to think I don't have a plan. Marcos always has a plan. All right. Then do you have the money you owe me? Do I have the money I owe you? Uh, of course, of course. Well, no, not at the moment. Then get... It. Instantly, my friend, instantly. But uh, maybe you should do that. There is a merchant in Sami. I'm not very good at these things, as you know. You want me to collect my own debt? It's just waiting for you and Sami, my friend. Who's the merchant? Thuris. You know Thuris. He's very nice. Luris? Again? Why do you keep lending him money? He's a loyal friend. I don't want his family to starve. You're a good friend, but you're bad with money. He'd better have my money, Marcos. I'd hate to have to sell our vineyard. Of course he will! Oh, after there's another matter I want to discuss with you. After. Fine, but I'm taking a horse. It's too hot and too long a walk to go on foot. But... Think of it as interest, Marcos. Everybody benefits. Of course, my friend. You shall have your pick. Choice. Which one will it be? I'll take the one in the middle. Ah, uh, 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 fine choice. But this particular breed has a few quirks that you might not be aware of. I wouldn't want you to take an unworthy horse. This is the one I want. Are you sure? Because... I'm sure, Marcos. Everybody benefits, especially you. You've chosen the great Phobos. He's never let me down. 
Phobos. Remember, meet me at the temple in Sami when you have uh, your money from Duris. Ah, F. Derpy. There is plenty of wine left to buy. Don't fret. Not now, you fool. Phoebe has been taken. By who? Thugs of the Cyclops. Who else? Snatched her right off the main road. Tell me where they went. In the direction of Itimena Beach. The beach? Can she swim? I'll get her. Yes, go. But don't forget about dear Duris, Cassandra. Off we go now. Oh. Yeah! You don't look so good. I angered them, I think. The gods. <sighs> Murder or impiety? Neither. I used to worship Hermes at the Drogorati cave. There are gods there too, you know. In the cave? They grant wishes if you bring them tribute. So everyone makes an offering and asks for something in return. Ah, no wishes of mine granted though. I'm running out of money and tribute. I'm poor myself, you know. I did something wrong. You know Hermes. He can be a trickster. Oh. But there are many gods in this cave, all asking for different things. Go hear them yourself. You'll get my last tribute if you do. I need to know if they're real. All right, don't worry. I'll go. Oh, thank you. Remember, be careful where you step, Mistyos. You'll be walking on holy ground. We'll see about that. Come on. There they are. I'll sneak up on them, I like it. In those ropes. She'll make good ransom drachmi for the Cyclops. No one's gonna buy me from you. They're all poor. Keep quiet, Phoebe. Oh. This there? tall grass will keep me hidden. Suppose my likes get away. Eh? Who's whistling? Marcos is going to be next.
Time to get Phoebe out of here. Cassandra, I'm here. Untie me. Are you all right? It wasn't so bad. Last time they put a cloth in my mouth so I'd stop biting. Phoebe, just be careful. You're alone now since... Since my parents died? I'm okay. I've got you, and you've got me and Marcos. We're your family, right? You have to be stronger than that! Don't get in! Let him have it! Got you! <laughs> Again! Up! Yes, Father. Spartan rises as soon as they have fallen. Ready your stuff. Widen your stance. A soldier grounds themselves. Hmm? Good. Good. Uh. Approach me. Ah! That's enough, Nikolaus. The sun's going down. Time to eat, don't you think? <laughs> Tonight. Tonight we are having baby Alexios. <laughs> and what a feast he will be. No, not him. Take me instead. I'm tasty. Yes, yes, you're all sweet as honey. Now, come inside. The lamb's turning black. Here. Lay him in his bed. Yes, Pater. Cassandra. You are my greatest pride. Remember that. You will bring this family to glory. Go. Right. You worry too much. <laughs> you don't worry enough. We'll be all right if we watch out for each other. Which reminds me, the thug said you should watch your back. what they say? They said the Cyclops put a big bounty on you. Talos the Stonefist wants you dead. Talos the mercenary? Am I ever not in trouble? Better get him before he gets you. I hear he's really mean. I'll find my way back to town. Here! Talos the Stone Fist has just what I need today. Another broken nose. I'm going to have to take care of that.
Let's go. Let's go. Sammy, Gris will be at his shop. Cassandra, good to see you. Hello, Luris. Business looks good. Tell Marcos to come down here himself, if he wants his money. Huh? No, but I'm here now. Look, I was a little late paying. Now Marcos says I owe him double because of interest. I don't have it to spare. You should have thought of that when you borrowed Drachmi, Luis. But my family... It's hot. I'm in a bad mood. And you're going to pay. We both know it. Now the question is, what do I break first? You? Or your merchandise? You told Marcos I've paid enough already. I won't bow to... to... to a mercenary. Or to someone foolish enough to borrow money from the Cyclops. From the Cyclops? That's how he bought his vineyard? Look, I know you'd be dead without Marcos. What with him taking you off the street as a kid. But you know what he's doing is crazy. Malaka. Still, that doesn't change the drachmi you owe. Face it. Once the Cyclops gets hold of you, you'll both be dead. I told you. I've paid Marcos enough. All right, all right. I'll pay you. Just stop. That hurts. Stop. I'll pay you. Stop. 